And then I grabbed him by the ears, and mwah, that was my first kiss. It was the most romantic moment of my life. Well, till the manager pulled Stop. Here. Come here. Scare me to death. You're white as a ghost. Come here. Shut up. Nice talk. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to interrupt a conversation? I found a wallet. Yeah? So? In the dorm parking lot? Rose, you could make a sunny day sound like a clue in a Hardy Boys mystery. You suffer from congenital implication. It was right by my car. Right by it. God meant for us to have this wallet. So what's to be so hyped up about? A lot of money what? Calm down. This wallet belongs to Teddy Leonard. Who? The little pipsqueak guy, always standing around Pepito's by himself, reciting Alfred North Whitehead so you'll know he's serious. From Joni's class? About this high, and if you held him up to the light, he'd be transparent. The one she went on a date with that one time, splurged her to a $100 French dinner, then dragged her to some documentary film on laser technology. Right. Too scared to talk to her? That's the one. So? Read this. No kidding. So tell me. Read it. This can't be right. Kid dresses like Donald Trump. I mean, he's okay, he's just a little nebbish. His daddy invented the frozen orange juice. That nebbish is an only child. He's the heir to a couple billion. Well, good for him. Maybe he'll be able to find a date. We're the only ones that know. Listen, your secret's safe with me. I gotta study. Any one of us could have him. I'm afraid I'd get cut by his braces. I'm not kidding. Kidding? What are you guys, eight years old? Think about it. Don't put a label on it. Think about it. So you're serious? Serious? The will's probably in probate. I mean, in 13 months, this guy has two billion dollars. You're writing a thesis on this guy. Have you ever watched him? What's he do all the time? Wears herringbone sports coats? Stares at women. The kid is desperate. He wants someone to love him. Okay, so take him. I don't need him. I'm gonna be a pediatric allergist, remember? A doctor? People marry me for money. Plus, I have the trust fund. Plus, I have the doting parents. Plus, I'm driving a Corvette. Congratulations, you've just won our Let Them Eat Cake Award. This is one of those opportunities that could change your life. We're the only ones that know. We call him up. He comes over. We're nice to him. He asks you out. You go. Again, he asks. Again, you go. Maybe in two months, do some heavy petting. Instant marriage proposal. Listen, if I didn't know you were a paranoid schizophrenic, I'd think you were a Tupperware salesman. You don't have your price? What a yucky thing to say. You don't have your price. I'm in a serious relationship, Nutso. Dump him. Ugh, are you joking? Call it off. I'm in love. You were in love last year. That was different. Six times. Okay, six times different. And last week you went out with someone else. For coffee. Right, coffee. Your first marriage shouldn't last more than two years should be put in a national history museum. Easy. You take him. I'm afraid I'm not that cynical. Is that him? Your carriage waits without. Don't push, don't shove. I've got a way to settle this. I've got a quarter. His quarter. Call it. Bet it or regret it. I can't do this. How can I do this? One and only chance. Tails. Oh, what the hell, head. You want to go follow her? I guess.